Hey guys, Cell here. Welcome back some more. Uh, Angeline. I almost said Don Machi. I don't know why. All right. The Dream Waker sees the light of the dawning ceremony. Crimson dyed intrigue. Otherworldly explosions. The House of Faith. Sundered by a charred blade. The Dream Waker sees her valiant comrades stemming back the tides of chaos to complete the ceremony. At last, drifting within the vast sea between worlds, the Dream Waker stirs. Alright, this story about Shinano. The girl who s somehow came home once but never came home again. And I have to tap, don't I? Yes, I do. Long has this one watched the world from a distance, only now given an opportunity to touch it, but the fears are the exceptions of mankind, expectations of mankind, and frail is the crystallization of their beliefs. Such a thing should never have come to pass. Has the trajectory of fate been thrown into disarray, or is this its true alignment? But alas, these things are no longer important. What matters is not this one's body, but rather the future of the Sakura Empire. In this world, the Great Fox's tree withers, the diadem burns, and the Crimson Shadow heralds the coming of destruction. In the realm of dreams, cracks before the harbinger of Crimson and Black. What this one sees is finality, a sign of an inevitable fate yet to come. But even the powerless should at least try to save what is important to them. Even if the tides of calamity cannot be averted, so this one combine visions of the truth with her powers. No matter how small, how ephemeral, this fleeting silver of a dream may be. If they are slowly pieced together, then surely... Are you making a puzzle? Whoa! Enter dreams? Nani? What? Read this chapter in order to unlock the next. Uh, TS1 Dream Waker's Butterfly. Shinano awakens in the Diadem of Light. She sets sail so that she may awaken that dream into reality. Win condition, defeat the enemy boss, lose condition, only fleets are defeated. Uh, submarine scan range 45. Oh boy. Oh, oh, um. Hey, hey, Hunter! It, it, it was fun having you with us. It, it, it really was. But now that you actually permanently joined, <laughs> yeah. You can go ahead and take a break. Let's go ahead and bring. I really honestly do not know. I guess we can bring Rafi along. That means that I'm also gonna have to put that submarine. Now and forever, Rafi. Now and forever. We now have a 75 Vanguard fleet power with a 75. When an enemy submarine comes within range of ASW capable Vanguard fleet sh ships, DDs and CLs, they will automatically be detected, thus rendering them open to attack. Damage can be dealt to a detected submarine using the ASW weaponry, such as depth charges. However, if the enemy submarine leaves your Vanguard's fleet, scan range, they will return to being undetected after some time has passed. Um, any bonus points that ASW stack in from gear, skills, map officers, or fleet tech does not affect your scan range. Well, the range is 75 now, so it should be fine, right? Now, let's go. Diadem of Lights. No, I cannot approve of this plan. But this decision was made by the leadership. Besides, even Lady Shinano isn't opposed to it. Indeed. Now this one has awakened. It is only natural to attend to the affairs of the main island. 
That isn't the issue. Lady Shinano just woke up from a deep slumber and isn't fully aware of everything that has happened in the outside world. Hurriedly, setting sail in this state while leaving us devoted retainers behind on the island is simply incomprehensible. Nay, this one has seen both the state of this world and the internal affairs of the Sakura Empire. Besides, didn't the leadership specifically dispatch fleet to escort Lady Shinano? I think you're worrying too much. Ki is the leader of the fleet. Despite her rather, uh, strong will, rest assured that her strength is first class. But, but, forget it. I've made up my mind. This time I'll accompany Lady Shinano. What? We'll have to request permission to change the deployment formation. I don't think there's going to be enough time for that. If Lady Shinano gives us her blessings, we can act first and apologize later. Surely there won't be an issue with that. Mm hmm. If you insist, this one shall accept your offer. Thank you, Lady Shinano. Lady Shinano, your escort fleet is approaching. Just then, I felt my consciousness slipping. Ugh. Ryuho, Noshiro, Saruga, let us prepare to set sail. Understood. What's also slipping is the, my ability to try to actually do their voices. <laughs> Just like the sun's rays, there are several islands surrounding the main island. This one b must be the diadem of light. You'd think this place is pretty fancy, judging from its name. But it's totally run down. How can Lady Shinano live in a dump like this? The awakening of the mightiest carrier will be as the radiant sun breaking through the clouded skies, dispelling the darkness and leading the Sakura Empire to new glory. Why do they always have to put this weird poetic stuff onto our orders? Who the heck knows what this is trying to say? I guess like Shinano is supposed to be super badass and able to defeat any enemy. It's not enough for, for ordinary people. Meh, guess so. Well, of course, they'd intentionally leave it a bit vague. You really think they're gonna put protect Shinano at all costs because what talks to me is about to be stolen on it? After Nagato was attacked alone by the Sirens, we've all had to be more vigilant. This place is still scarred by the battle that occurred here. It would be best that Lady Shinano not remain here should the Sirens attack again. But sure, besides, I'd love to see Shinano show off her powers back at the main island. Yeah, it's better for us all around. Hmm, some ships are leaving port. Is that Lady Shinano? She's so gorgeous. Well, her presence is just as imposing as Misashi's. I can feel it from all the way out here. What's no Shinano doing there? According to the plan, Shinano was supposed to come alone. I also think it would be unwise to let Lady Shinano sit sail alone. As such an important person, it's only natural that she'd have an attendant or two. You have a point, in any case. I'm sure she has her reasons. Alright, let's not keep them waiting, everyone. Let's pick up our pace. So, we're going to meet Lady Shinano? I believe? Oh, man, nice loading screen. <laughs> not every day you get to see Akashi and, uh... <laughs> Should I see you? Question mark? I don't think it's. I don't think that's her. Let's just call it that I do not remember her name, so let's just quickly go to. Why, thank you, Chitose. Yeah, let's go to here, here. I don't know why I uh, thought coming here would uh, help me. Uh... <laughs> How many prototypes do I have? I have 860. Oh boy. Still need I have a long way to go from that. Doc. What the heck was her name, man? She she's with Akashi. 
Can I even pin her out from all of the images that I see scrolling by me? Did I even level her up? I don't think she had any. Hey, at least I got the SH in her name, alright? I said she 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 shirat to you, right? If I said shirat to you, I at least got the shira in her name right. It's close enough for the fact that I have her at level 70 and I haven't used her since. <laughs> okay, now I'll see you guys in the next story part. Now that that mystery has been solved and I don't have to consistently sit here waiting to try to figure it out. That me insane. After joining up Shinado, Key's fleet left the Diadem of Light, making its way back towards the Sakura Empire's main island. So this is the sensation of sailing throughout the present world's oceans. Lee Shinano, is here for assembly in the Diadem of Light here. So like, how's it feel having the wind and waves at your side? It is familiar one. It is a familiar one. Slightly different, but not by much. Um, yeah, by the way, it's not fortune telling apps are all the raids these days. Fortune telling? This one's dreams have already shown the future, and, um, what is an app? Ah, not worry about it. Forget I asked. Very well. Damn it. D did I bring up a sensitive topic? So much for my plan to light up the mood a bit. Jeez, it's probably fine. Lady Shinano has been asleep for such a long time. She probably has no idea about the latest trends. What did you expect? Though she's in this state, Lady Shinano is still the third ship of the Yamato class, has the weighty duty of leading the Sakura Empire into the future. Hey, I used to feel the same way about Lady Nagato, but she has a cute side to her. In private, I wonder if Lady Shinano also. I can picture that. Can you imagine flipping those big fluffy tails? Ah. Uh -huh. Suzuki. He wished to rest upon this one tail. Eh? Is she read my mind? What? No, I, I mean, c can I really? <laughs> Look at you. Uh, um, I really shouldn't. I apologize for my indiscretion. No, that's too bad uh, then. Oh. I've heard the rumors, but Shinano really does seem to be awfully sleepy. Lady Shinano, should you have uh, no objection, I would recommend you rest upon one of my mass produced ships. We're not far from the Sakura Empire's main island, and it should be a little risk of encountering Sirens. Of course, if anyone seeks to block our way, I shall see to it that they do not live to tell the tale. You go, Key. Speaking of, there's a Sirin right here. Sirin, How I love fighting Sirin. Sailorins are fun to fight. I eventually want one of them to defect to our side for whatever reason and uh as be like an extremely limited freaking gotcha. Just to see what would happen if I actually did that gotcha. Did I fall asleep? Others approach. Lady Shinano, is your perception so keen even when you're asleep? Indeed, there's another Sakura Empire fleet in front of us. Let me confirm. It seems to be the munition ship Kashino being escorted back to the main island by Jitoshi and Chiyoda's group. Munition ship Kashino. Hmm. I don't remember hearing anything about transport operation. It's unusual that a munition ship would be sailing with a sortie and fleet. I wonder what she's carrying with her. Kashino's been in charge of carrying stuff for Yamato class guns, right? I know there weren't any Yamato class ships playing at the Lady Shinano. What do you think that? Curiosity kills the Kakumano. What are you specifically prohibited from talking about this stuff? Suzuki is right. It, it seems like Suikak and Shokak learned something like that put them at odds with Takagi. Remember how thick the tension was between them at the last festival? Spooky, spooky. Guess I really should have le leave this stuff alone. 
but at least we're headed in the same direction. If we work together, we'll all be safer along the way. Will you order them to join us, Lady Shinano? As such a weakly individual as myself, fully deserve to be surrounded by so many retainers. They have a much more important duty to accomplish than escorting one such as myself. It would be best to not force the convergence of different commands. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Suzuki, the heck is she talking about? I think she's trying to say that because our missions are different, there's no need for them to accompany us. So we're gonna pass each other by then. Key, okay, we're receiving an incoming communication from the other fleet. We respond. Sure, if I be through. Even if we're not working together, we at least shouldn't forget common courtesy on high seas as fellow members of the Sakura Empire. As Jito say, we are currently carrying out a transport mission to the main island. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is Key. Also currently on the back to the ma main island. We appreciate your hard work in escorting our transport ships. Hey, I'm Nazuki. I haven't seen you in a while. There's an aircraft carrier among the formation, eh? It's that Lady Shinano. Wow, how lucky are we witnessing Lady Shinano's maiden voyage? Long has it been since we last met. It is good to see you all. Since we last, have we met before Lady Shinano? Nay, those events were not of this world. This will be our first meeting. Eh? <laughs> this will be my first time seeing you awake. Pleased to me meet you, Lady Shinano. I'm Kashino, munition ship, currently carrying out the transport mission. By the way, I heard you just awakened not long ago. Do you feel like alright? Is there anything you're having trouble with? Just now, this one felt a flicker of strength from within. Kashino, thank you for your contribution to this one's rebirth. Eh? <laughs> it's all part of my job. You need to thank me. In any case, Lady Shinano, we won't delay you any further. It is an honor to meet you, and I hope that the rest of your journey is smooth. Hmm. May the gods watch over you, and ferry you safely to your destination. I feel like s mo multiple of their voices are blending together. T1, Game of Reenactment. Dream Waker sees a glimpse of another future. She awakens to fulfill the duty she was entrusted with. So are we going to be like fighting inside of a dream? And there we go. Watch out everyone, I see enemies. That's an disturbance. We've already entered the Mirror Sea. How can that be? It's been ages since Sayurin's have entered these waters. And besides, Sayurin and Shitose passed through a moment ago without any issues. By the looks of things, they w they're waiting for us. We've been ambushed. The Sailors must be after Lady Shinano. The Sailors will be s surely be targeting you. Please do not leave my side. Very well. This one shall do whatever she can. Those bastards are trying to take advantage of Lady Shinano when she is most vulnerable. Don't let their little plan succeed. Enter battle formation while Lady Shinano and prepare to engage. This map. So I'm assuming the Shinano is technically supposed to be in the middle. I mean, she's not currently, but technically you just believe that she is. Now, are you a submarine? You have similar looks of a submarine. <laughs> yes, this one was in fact a submarine. Come on, get up here. You're within targeting range. No, only being level 24, she didn't, actually didn't survive that badly. I'm highly surprised at that. Be careful, a huge enemy fleet is appearing in front of us. Damn it, there are huge fleets coming at us in any direction you look. No, I mean this one's even bigger than the rest. I'm also picking up the leader here, and it seems to be Tester. Hey man, it's Loki Tester. Good work. But damn, I'm not exactly in the best condition to take a head-on fight against Tester in a mere sea. 
First and foremost, defend Lady Shinana with your life, and try to find a way out of here. But... I'm, I'm so curious, like, what the heck is the dream world? Also... Eh, I can try to, uh, three-star this later. I'm more curious about how we're gonna be fighting in, in a dream state. And when that actually takes place. Wow, that was fast to get to the story. <laughs> Things aren't looking good. Key, let me break out of the MSC alone. The Tetsu's fleet can't have gotten far. I'll find them and have them turn back. Walls are not far from the Diadem of Light. If you can send out an SOS signal, the fleet there can also come to our aid. No, there's too many of them. You won't be able to make it out alone. Besides, we haven't located the way out yet. And if you can save out the enemies for a while, how are you going to get back to us? But... They haven't made their move yet. But based upon their numbers, Tester doesn't plan to let us leave without a fight. We only have one option. We're going to have to focus all of our attacks on a single point. If we can break Tester's command module, we'll be able to create an opening to get out of here. Going straight from Jugular, hmm. If it's just Tester, we might be able to pull it off with our numbers. I'll throw in some escorts and we've got a problem on our hands. Focus on the escort fleet. This one shall take care of Tester. Wait, but Lady Shinano, your powers haven't come back yet. Worry not. This one has her own methods. Many times has this one fought them within the nightmare. Even in this state, victory is possible. Through all those sad and cruel dreams to protect the Sakura Empire, to bring glory and hope to our people, has always been the unyielding purpose of this one's life. I understand. Fight to your heart's content then, Lady Shinano. We shall clear the way forward for you. Oh, Shinano! Take out Tester! I don't know why, but it feels like level, these level 20s are actually able to survive a hell of a lot better than the other level 20s from any other event have. Yeah, that, they're just getting lucky. Oh! We get these specialized cores for doing these missions? I found another reason to grind this. I mean, it is three days later, so that's three days less of grind time that I have now. Oh boy. Oh, hey! I only need to do this one more time, okay. Why? This body should be capable of so much more. How dull. Is this really all that mighty Shinano is capable of? Convert to the Yamato class hull, armored aircraft carrier Shinano. You are built to re re represent the hope of the Sakura Empire. But your yeah, actual performance. Tester, this one has faced you countless times. Is that so? That was supposed to be my line. Real experiments require re reliable data. Rigorous modeling and a large amount of calculations what you rely upon is nothing but a fantasy. Please, Shinano, you're overextending. Get back into formation quickly. Nay, this is the correct way. Only this way will test to let her guard down and reveal her vulnerability. Hmm, is this what you're aiming for? I'm confirmed that Tessa's main battery has been damaged, and her attack frequency has decreased. Next, the energy supply module, if I remember properly. Some planes? Impossible. When did they? Where? Reenactment concluded. I'm glad you came here, Shinano. This, but know this, your actions alone will never change the fate of the Sakura Empire. Data entry complete. And upon this timeline, nothing will change. What? It can't be, I... I saw the dreams many times. What was going to happen? I had awoken. How could, how could this life amount to so little? This fate is too cruel. What's up? Tap? I like how it never tells me to tap. 
I have to question it. So now we're going into the dream to come across back to another timeline, maybe? What? T2, drifting, swelling. A dream waker sees a glimpse of another past. She will do anything to protect her friends and her homeland. So is Shinano having to deal with multiple different alternate realities? While also trying to find the best possible course of action that she can do to save her own reality? And if she didn't actually woke up, that was just one of her many trials and errors of the dream state? My head is gonna hurt if that's actually how convoluted this system is gonna go down. Her eyes opened, and a familiar scenery spread out before her. Upon the ceremonial site to dear them of light, she stood. My head hurts. Was that a dream? Ishinano, you're finally awake. Did I not awake long ago? What is it but to be so surprised about? Kasumi, what date is it? Uh um, we're currently in the middle of the ritual, and what Tatsumi is about to be brought forth. The ritual? That means that Nagato, Mikasa, and Akaki are all here. Um, Lady Nagato, does that not seem to be here? Um, yes, first said the same thing. That can't be right. Can it? Watch out, Lady Shinano! An hashtag. Isn't this ceremony still in progress? Um, Lady Shinano, I was so excited to see that you had awakened that, um, I forgot to explain. Um, so the sailors covered the entire island with a mere sea and has been launching attacks at us. They've been caught completely off guard. The Lady Akagi and Mikasa should have taken care of all the enemies. So where did that attack come from? It's still too dangerous to go outside, though, so Fu said that it's better to wait here until we can get a battle report. Um, Lady Shinano. Is that right? Oh boy. In the night, Gossamir, sheets of blue silk, fluttered towards the flames burning upon the ocean surface. They are going to take Watatsumi. No, their goal is to destroy it. The one who goes by Emperor. Wait, what? L Lady Shinano? Kashino, he does see Chiyoda. My dreams do not show them as being present at the ritual. This reality began to bleed into the dream world. What are you doing here? Well, we originally came to deliver supplies to the ceremony, but we didn't expect to get attacked by savings before we left. And just as soon as we managed to mop up the savings, a brand new enemy showed up. I have no idea if it's some new saving weapon, but it looks different than anything we faced before. The others are trying to hold him back, but enemies keep pouring at us. Will you return to lend them your aid? Um, Lee Shinano, there appears to be some misunderstanding. We didn't retreat from the front lines. Mikasa surmised that the enemy's objective was to completely separate the ceremony by destroying Watatsumi. So we were ordered to take Watatsumi to a safe place. If Ember is interested in Watatsumi, the sacred relic of the Saga Empire, then what is the nature of my existence? Watatsumi. Isn't that that cube that the uh, alternate, um, the alternate, uh, uh, crap, Takao wanted to destroy? Are we back in that timeline? No, well, I mean, back in the past? I mean, that far? This one shall hold back the enemy to see it do it and what touched me is kept safe. Very well, good luck, Lady Shinano. Uh, Lady Shinano herself is going to fight by herself. Uh... I... I... Um... I, I, Shito, say, I don't think you needed to say herself twice. Eh, <laughs> now I'll be able to turn ties, Lady Shinano. Show our enemies the power of the Sucker Empire's mightiest carrier. Very well. 
Okay, so through connected gates around Dreamworld, surface and submarine fleets can be teleported to locations they normally cannot reach. You may encounter both one-way and two-way Dreamworld gates. What the heck is that visor that she's wearing? Uh... Oh, we, yeah, we can teleport through the gate. Then we pop up over here. I mean, that's neat. I'll be now that this group can't actually fight the Saiyan. Oh, nice loading screen. <laughs> I've also seen another extremely loot one as well. It's really nice. Damn it. Is this the best we can do? What the hell is this power? I'm so sorry, Lady Shinano. Let's produce battleships. Sundered in about a single slash. Coastal insulations ruined in one shot. Destroyers, light cruisers, light carriers. Nothing good to withstand even a single blow. This could not even be called a battle. Yet the last fragile line of defense still clung on. We can't even lay a finger on the enemy. Mikasa, we're going to get annihilated at this rate. Hang on. It's a little bit longer. Shokaku. Has there been any response to our request for aid? The support fleet is on its way, but it'll take some time before they can reach us all the way out here. here. Judging from our current situation, I hope it'll be enough. All we can do is continue to stall for time. Akagi, do you have any ideas? Akagi? <laughs> now you've done it. I'll have to use this. Behold, ye cruel gods. As the power of my love, I shall bring ruin to everything. Hey, it is Takao. Alright. Out of my way. Akagi, watch out. Kaga! I like how they don't even name her Ember here. They still, they just call her Takao. Also, I, I really want alternate freaking Takao and Enterprise for whatever reason join the commander. You know, as like an alternate version, sort of like alters in FGO. I want to actually have her join my fleet. She seems so cool, I want her. <laughs> Albeit, it, she only got this strong because of the hardships and the people that she lost in her own reality. Mint powers collide. An resultant burst of light engulfed both assailant and protector alike. Despite the assailant's tremendous power, she fell to her knees, and the battle was decided. Mikasa. <clears throat> Damn, I'm not as limp as I used to be. Akagi. What's wrong? <laughs> Even now, are you just going to watch us from the sidelines, Shinano? Akagi turned around, floating above her palm was a black box, glowing with a sinister light. The manifestation of humanity's dreams and hopes. The wisdom cube, but there are special ones among them. Instead of squandering such power on the likes of you. Akagi, what are you saying? Even should this body sink to the bottom of these seas, I'll be forever wreathed in flames, I... I... I won't permit anyone to get in the way of my love. Sakagi about to use with Tatsumi on herself. Uh, probably isn't going to go over well. So is dream is this dreamlike world gonna have Akagi just come completely uh <laughs> go completely insane? Akagi! That black light, that black box is calamity itself! Akagi! Stop! So you finally decided to show up, Shinano. Shinano, me lady, you finally awakened. Akagi, what you hold in your hand is calamity itself. The Sucker Empire is no need for such dark power. You must discard it. <laughs> Even you're trying to lecture me. 
You've been hiding away all this time, sleeping away in your safe haven. What do you know? It was not this one's decision to slumber while the world burned. Akagi thinks more of the Sucker Empire than anyone else. Yet this great passion also spawns great da danger. Watching Pale befall the Sucker Empire from within the, with the empty void of power loots to stop it. Since it was not my desire. Do I have the ability to stop Akagi? But alas, all I have are these fragments. The light that comes to return all to the void. This fragment will come to an end soon. I awoke because of my desire to save the Sucker Empire and my comrades from the dream of ruination that I saw. Ding! Time to go back to the other side. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, okay. The final torch. I highly doubt that this is the finale already. Right? The Dream Waker seems echoes of a distant... Sees echoes of a distant world. As the Guardian of Humanity, she sails to face finality. This can't be it, right? I can hear the sound of the waves, but the ocean stings with the stench of rust and the frigid wind bites at my skin. This nightmare, nay, this world, is unlike any I have known. Shinano, I'm about to, re to assemble. Well, the Nantian Half Fleet that's going to participate in this operation. Yes, every last bit of the Sucker Empire's naval power. A might this world has never seen. But not just us. The Eagle Union, the Royal Navy, and the Iron Flat of all trained forces. The incisive battle is upon us. Hopefully it is enough to turn this situation around. Yeah, that's what Lady Shinano puts on her dreams, isn't that right? Yes. Hmm, what's the matter, Lady Shinano? Well, we've been fighting all the way here. It'd be weird if she wasn't a bit tired after all that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Things will turn around after this battle, so let's give it one last push. Let's not keep the Eagle Union wa waiting. The wrecking is damaged. It ca cannot be repaired anymore. That's the way it is. A lot of materials, so there's nothing we can do about it. I've given it some elbow grease, but I'll just have to make do. The breaking is worn, with it, as if they have been repaired for ages. Haven't been repaired for ages. What knows what is going on? I don't know. Can you tell dream from reality, Shinano? Tito say, Shioda, they couldn't just say you should go resupply right now. Supplies are finally here. It's about damn time. And the other fleets have to fight the way here like we did. Yeah, same situation all around. As is our intel suggested, most of this area has fallen under the enemy's control. Is that our trump card over there? The equipment infused with technology of the Northern Parliament. The transport ships are carrying the special cords. Munition ships are our trump card. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And that's nothing compared to the secret weapon that Kashino brought us. Powered by what touched me. If I remember properly, the Shinano is one of the architects behind this plan. Indeed. A weapon made from what touched me. Wisdom cubes, the vessels that collect and shape thought, combined with cognitive chips, empower this body. What makes me any different from that weapon? This is Enterprise, it's time to begin the operation. Is the Sakura em Empire fleet ready? We finished the assembling its forces, now we're ready. Just making some final adjustments to our equipment. How about the new end? Our task forces have been proceeding relatively smoothly. We haven't seen any enemy movements in the target area. Excellent. If our plan succeeds, we may be able to crush the enemies in one fell swoop. It's showing up and start already. I'm itching for a fight. Heh <laughs> heh, 
You don't use that fine up today. Guess I can't afford to fall behind either. Enterprise, we have mi are we missing anybody? No, but Antiochus has not rallied their forces yet. Strange. How unlike them to drop the ball at a time like this. In any case, they're just a reserve force. It should be fine as long as they can catch up later. Let's finalize our plans then. Shinado, you're in charge over here. Antiochus? Who? Ready to assist at any time. Good, suck up our fleet. Our presence begins now. Set sail. I don't I don't remember any such Antiochus, or however the hell you say that name. This is a nice one as well. We haven't encountered a whole lot of enemies so far. When they are in the middle of the fleet formation, even if enemies try to approach us, the other squads will make quick work of them. Okay, cocky, you never know when the enemy may strike or where they'll attack from. Duh, it's not like this my first time fighting. Hmm, I'm a little nervous. I'm, not, I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, it's, f it's fine to be vigilant. I'll let your nerves get the better of you. Would you like some herbal tea? <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much of a selection left. That'd be great. How about you, Lady Shinano? Indeed. That sounds lovely. Voices ring out across the water. They are all trying to drown out the sense of anxiety and urgency from imminent decisive battle. The enemy Vanguard fleet is approaching. I've lost contact with several of the Eagle Union fleets, trying to confirm the situation. Stay alert and don't let your guard down. So much for tea, right? Okay, so wait, the boss is there. Which one leads to... I'm assuming the one on the side is the, goes there, so this one goes there. Yep. Alright. Boss time. Are we gonna get another fantastic loading screen? Yeah. We got one of the loading screens we before. Do you feel that? It's giving me the chills. The main enemy's fleet will be coming soon. Let me see. What the heck is a mere C? It's, is that what you're talking about? You occasionally spot strange weather phenomena right before the, these enemies appear. Oh, is so that what you mean by mere C, huh? This enemy, is it not the same? And who is this Ante Antiochus? Can it be? I tried to read it backwards, it did not come in, uh, anywhere near it. Damn. I'm completely lost contact with the Eagle Union fleet. Shit. Forget about the Eagle Union. We're even losing contact with our own perimeter fleet one after another. We still haven't even reached the enemy's main fleet. Seems like it. We've been fighting off the recon forces that the main fleet is still further away. But you'd never know it based upon how big these fleets are. It is if they're trying to burn us out. As long as we keep things under control, we won't burn out. Indeed, those who burn out will become but embers in ash. Uh-huh. No, we will not. Even if we burn out, we must continue to protect the light of humanity. The cow. Be it through the flames of my cannon or the light of hope, I shall illuminate the darkness even if I burn through my life. I refuse to become dying embers in the wind. Ember and ash. Could this dream be of their creation? Possibly. You know how how the cow becomes ember and Enterprise becomes ash. Hey, Lady Shinano, I'm entrusting you with activating our trump card when the time comes. Very well. Green World Africa. That's a, that's a decently powerful one as well for being a dream. Although some dreams could be other people's realities. Sort of like how if you play a VR MMO, 
If those ever actually become a thing. I also badly want the world of SEO to actually be a thing, except, you know, not being stuck in the game. That'd be nice. Whoa. The enemy's well the light to hide itself. These dreams are not clearly revealing everything to me. All I know is this strength and this abject terror. It is all the Leviathan that transcended the very oceans. Coming to wake through a cal calamitous storm that could overwhelm all existence on this planet. Well. Alien speak, alright. This is the enemy. She saw colossus that could rend the sky. Its body rippling like a crucible of cold steel, grinding the land into nothingness. Looks cool. Lee Shinano, this quickly has been breached. No way. How'd the enemy get over there? They're aiming for a touch me. Lady Shinano, prepare yourself. My duty is to protect the Sakura Empire and all her peoples. Nay, it is not just my duty, it is my conviction. I shall fight until my soul is spent. Okay, you know, I wasn't gonna show that, but... As you just saw, I got Deutschland. Didn't it take me, like... I don't know, 11 full runs? How long? How? Hold on. I think I saved this somewhere. Okay. It took me a little over 10 plus hours to get Deutschland. When she was first available, it took me over 10 plus hours to get her while grinding the, the event she was in to finally get her. Yet, I, here I am, none the wiser that she's apparently in this freaking uh, mission that we were doing. And we got her. Oh my god. That hurts. <laughs> 10 plus hours. Oh my god. That sucks. And yes, I still have the record of how long it took me to actually get her. I knew it was somewhere on my computer. <laughs> Pummeled by a hill of cannon fire, the steel colossus is finally surreal. Staggered for the first time. I feel power crossing through me. At this rate, we can win. However, even if one enemy collapsed, another would swell from the depths to take its place. A veritable wall of black steel. It is not enough. I am a weapon, embodiment of humanity's thoughts, the wishes for which they fight. I am the hope of the Sakura Empire, the hope of her people, I am their deliverance. But the flames of resistance flickered in the storm and sputtered out. Be it after mere moments of after Ea. Shinano stood alone upon the surface of the ocean. Chitose, Chiyoda, Kashino, Ki, Kumano, Suzuki, Noshiro, my friends. One fragment is still missing. This was the fate of Shinano within this world. Why is it still not enough? How many times must I witness this ruination? How long must I wallow in sorrow, emptiness, and helplessness? Where is the missing fragment? Ding. I mean, I'm here. Am I the, am I the missing fragment? Okay, I don't think we're done yet. But the fact that we can return from here... And the fact that there might be more to this afterwards when we're done with the dreams. This might be the longest event yet. So yeah. With that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next one. Where we will do the first voyage. And who knows? That actually could be the last one. I don't know. So it might actually be a shorter episode. Or it might be longer. You never know. But yeah. Till then. See you guys later. Or did, did I do this?
Did I actually record? Did any of you actually watch it? Or was it all a dream? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, hi all. <laughs> See you later.